ChatGPT, as a science teacher, how can this technology help you? How could it help you with homework, quizzes, and tests? How could it help you with demos and labs? How could it help you with discussion questions, with projects, with different ideas? How could it help you as a teacher? Many teachers are worried, scared, don't know what they think about ChatGPT. And with everything that's new in technology, it always brings fear of what can happen but there's always a lot of excitement of what can happen. And today I wanna to show you the excitement of it, but more than that, how it can help you. Let's go. All right, so this is the website, ChatGPT. You can just search it on Google, easy to log in, and it's just a lot of fun. If you haven't been playing around with it, it's a lot of fun. Uh, one of the best things about as a teacher, I just feel like you always have questions, whether it's for homework assignments, quizzes, or tests, and now you can just ask for example questions. high school physics teacher and I need some example questions for Newton's laws. Personally, I teach physics, so we'll be doing a lot of physics related examples. That's great. You know, you have your list, you can choose some, you're like you're running late for a quiz. There you go, you have some questions. Maybe you need more. Say, like, can you give me some more questions? So we can give you some more. Anyway, I, I think you get the point. I'm just gonna stop it. However, you can also say, wait a second, I don't want just these open-ended questions, I want some multiple choice in there. So it says, Give me some example questions that are multiple choice. Okay, and you get you get the idea. I stopped it, but they can give you more. And if you're more specific, let's say you're like on a certain topic of Newton's laws. You can say, I need, let's say you want it for Newton's third law. I would say at this point, you should really be checking everything because even though most of it is very good, it's not always going to be perfect. confused by the questions or you just want to verify you can say you can ask for you know what are the answers can you hear the answers and then it's going to take its time going through each question but then it's going to share each of the answers and verify your knowledge And again, you could, the more specific you can get, you can get more of what you want. Let's say you maybe you want a written response of an open-ended question. You can say, I'm looking for some open-ended questions um, for the topic of Newton's first law. Written responses. And there you go. It lists it all out for you. It's like an assistant that works really fast, really efficiently, and it's pretty freaking smart. <laughs> so that's a lot. It helps with homework, quizzes, tests. We always need like these example kind of questions as teachers all the time. The next thing that I want to talk about is let's say you want to do a project or you need some ideas. Let's say for example you want the you want the students to do a research project based on something energy related. And you need some ideas with maybe some example prompts to give them. 
So it's, it's great with giving out prompts. So for example, high school physics teacher, I need some topics for students to do a research project based on ask for a different kind of list and let's say for example a student comes to you and is like I don't know what to do and you say what do you like and they say turtles and then you could say okay why don't you go to chat GBT and ask what kind of scientific paper you could do on turtles and it'll give the student an idea for example get the idea so instead of you doing all this work again you have this assistant that's doing everything for you and you can leave you have the just the students have them do this themselves uh, the next question is let's say you are on uh, a new topic you're on a new topic and maybe you want to start with a demo or a lab you can ask a chat GPT with give me some demo ideas so uh, Teacher, I need some ideas for demos on the topic of free fall. resources right here another thing they could do maybe you don't want to start the class with some demos you don't have that many materials you you're kind of running late you don't really know what to do and you want to ask okay you know we just learned about light so what are some maybe discussions that we could have in class and you could ask chat GPT Again, technology is a tool that can be used in many ways. New things are scary, but new things are also exciting. And there are definitely ways to use that tool to benefit you, to benefit everyone, to get people excited about it. I'm excited if you know any other ways as a teacher, you use ChatGPT as an assistant, as a helper to you. And I would love to hear that in the comments below. Thanks for watching.